So I'm going to do a video on changing the uh, loops on the end of your hammock. A lot of times people when they get into hammocks they don't really know for sure what kind of suspension they want so they're just kind of going based on something that they read or something that uh, you know a friend of theirs uses or whatever. So and then after doing it for a while or especially if they're around other people and see other ways of doing it they decide they want to change. So this is a, a whoopee sling that's on the end of this hammock. This is what my wife and I started out using was whoopee slings and then we ended up going to different types of suspension. But the, if you need to change your suspension, what you would do is say you wanted to put a regular continuous loop on it or you wanted to uh, put something like this universal loop on it. All you have to do is separate this if you have a continuous loop on there like this already then what you'll see is this sticking out of your hammock and just like I'm pulling this and separating this you would do the same thing with this just pull this out now when you get it all one thing you want to do is keep a hold of this loop you, you do not want this loop to pull back through not yet so pull all the whoopee sling through it. Now on top of this loop, whether it's a whoopee sling or a continuous loop, it would be this. On top of this loop is where the ridge line goes. And that's this black cord here. It just slips over. That's all you gotta do to take it off. So now what you would do is uh, just run this through. Like that. All I did was kind of made a square knot. Or you could tie a string to two ends of the loops or do however you can do it. Get it started there and start feeding it through. It'll take a little bit of messing with, but it'll start coming through there. Now, a lot of hammocks at this point. You, you can just uh, unfold the fabric completely and get the whole width of the fabric and just use a long rod or something and, and put through there with your string tied or taped to the other end. Our hammocks are stitched right here so they won't come open completely like that. And when I feed this through, see how that's looped up like that? I want to get it to where it's straight once I get it through there. Right now I'm not too worried about it. I'm gonna hold my finger here in this loop so it doesn't come all the way through. I need the one end to stay. It's kind of getting caught on that little knot a little bit, but that happens, just keep messing with it. See how I let go of that loop and I almost lost it. Okay, now I got this out. So I can take this off of here. Just pull it all back through. And slide the end off. So now I'll see how that's kind of twisted. I'm gonna pull it, get it straight. Making sure I don't let go of the end of it, either end of it at this point. Okay, so the way these loops are made, you have a, um, a what I call a fat end and then a skinny end. You want, uh, this skinny end is the end you want to leave sticking out because certain, like the beetle buckle suspension and different things like that, 
this rope is too thick, this end of the rope is too thick of a di diameter to work on there right. So now the next step is to get the loop of your ridge line, run it through here, and then you just stick it over the top of this. And then take this loop here, the one with the little diameter, and run it through there. And pull it tight. And now, what you want to do is you got to kind of work it, keep this ridge line tight, and see how this has got all this slack right here. I want to try to get this loop buried in there as far as I can. So you just kind of keep working the material around while you're pulling on this. Get it nice and tight. And then really pull, really crank down on it when you pull it apart. And a lot of times you gotta stick, get your body weight in the hammock and everything to make it really nice and tight. But uh, that's it. That's all you gotta do to change the continuous loop. And if you wanted to just have a longer one of these loops, or something like the universal loop or something, just do it the same way. Just kind of run it through there. Pull it tight and uh, then feed it back through. Or you could take a piece of string or something, tie it onto the two ends and do it that way if you want. But that is how you change your continuous loop. If you brand new into hammocks, at some point, it's pretty much guaranteed you're going to change what type you want or you're going to try uh, different things. And that's where something like this universal joint, I mean, not universal joint, but universal loop, that's where this thing comes in handy. There's a lot of different types of suspension because of the way this knot is. A lot of different types of suspension you can use on this. So that's it. I hope it helped.